what up peeps mr bones back at you and it's day 26 of 31 days of hollow wicked and what we're talking about is 1992's pet cemetery 2 directed by mary lambert and written by richard alton starring edward furlong as jeff matthews Anthony edwards as chase matthews jason mcguire as drew gilbert and Clancy Brown as Gus Gilbert. And we have Jared Rushton as the bully Clyde Parker, who I thought for years watching this movie that it was Ben Foster. My bad. It looks just like him. It sounds like him. And I always thought it was Ben Foster. But looking up the details to do this review, find out it's Jared Rushton from Big, I Need a Shrunk the Kids, and Overboard. Hmm. So I love this movie. No one ever really talks about it. Everybody loves the original. No one ever talks about this one. But I myself think it's I think it's just as good. And it connects to the other one. They're in the same town. They go to the same pet cemetery. They pass the Creed house. And there's stories of Ellie Creed and stuff. <clears throat> So Jeff Matthews, played by Edward Furlong, his mother is a celebrity, a actress, and she has a freak accident on set of a movie and gets electrocuted and dies. Such a traumatic experience for Jeff, and his father Chase moves him from L.A., I think it is, where he was living with his mother, to her old hometown, which is where the Pet Cemetery is. They move there, and Chase becomes the local veterinarian for that town. That's where they meet Gus and Drew. Drew has an awesome beautiful husky named Zowie and Gus has stupid rabbits that he ends up killing Zowie for messing with. But before that Jeff played by Edward Furlong and Drew meet each other and they become friends. And well when uh, Chase, Jace first uh, moves into the new veterinary place, they find a batch of kittens, and he lets Jeff keep one. He takes it to school, which is not something you normally do, and the bully grabs it and takes off running on his bike. And Jeff and Drew give Chase on their bikes to follow him to the pet cemetery. And that's where Clyde tells them about it, what the pet cemetery is, and... When Gus kills Zowie, they decide to try it out and take him up there, and he returns. Later on, you get Gus, who likes to abuse Drew, show up at an, aw an awesome Halloween party. That's why this fits, besides horror, any horror fits the Halloween month. But there's an awesome Halloween scene in this movie where they're all hanging out at the Pet Cemetery with a fire and telling stories, kind of like... Friday the 13th and Clyde is telling a story about crazy Ellie Creed who is in the insane mental hospital and well it tells the whole story about Judd and crazy Lewis Creed who buried all of his loved ones and they all came back and then Ellie Creed is still alive and in a mental hospital and where did she just escape tonight? Oh my god, who's that? And it's Gus coming after Drew, because God forbid he have a little bit of fun and be a kid and go trick-or-treating and shit, or do something for Halloween. And he's attacking Drew, and that's where Zombie Zowie comes out and eats his neck out and kills him. So then, let's do like we did with Zowie and take him up to the pet cemetery. So then Gus comes back from the dead. He's nothing like he used to be. He's fun to Drew, and he smiling all the time and acting goofy and laughing with food in his mouth and acting fucking weird until he's not fun anymore all of a sudden he's trying to kill everybody and he runs the mother and drew down the road into a truck and kills them this movie is very fun i'd highly recommend anyone who hasn't seen it or heard about it to check it out i don't know how you would have heard about it but yeah i love this movie i highly recommend it that's what i watched Peace.